In the early morning of the 21st of September, a 29-year-old woman, confused and in pain, wakes up on the side of the S-Bahn tracks. Gerda Kagel had been traveling on the S-Bahn the night before. She vaguely remembered somebody trying to strangle her. And then she found herself being thrown off the train out onto some sand at the side of the S-Bahn tracks. A passerby finds her and calls the Orpo, the German order police, to come and help. The Orpo, the Ordnungspolizei, would deal with all sort of everyday policing matters. Under the Nazis, the Orpo were part of a new centralized police force, uniting all of Germany's law enforcement units. They took on the role of regular uniformed police, keeping order in Nazi Berlin. Gerda Kargol is duly interviewed by the Orpo, who don't take too much notice of her. They consider that to her, Predicament is most likely an accident. It's most likely, perhaps, the result of a drunken night out. But then, just two months after the Gerda Kargov incident, the police are listening to a very disturbing report by another young Berlin woman, Elizabeth Berndorf. Elizabeth was so brutally attacked on the S-Bahn, she wasn't able to make a report to the police for eight days. On the night of her attack, she just finished working her shift as a ticket salesperson. Women like Bendorf and Kargol were increasingly brought into the German economy to make up for the large number of men who had conscripted and taken into the German army to fight on the front for Adolf Hitler. And that meant, of course, that they are traveling in and out of the city, perhaps at times that they wouldn't necessarily have been doing so before. Um, so that opened them up to a potential risk from, from uh, an attacker. Elizabeth Bendorf tells the police that she was traveling home on the S-Bahn from the Friedrichshagen station in eastern Berlin. That just as she was about to board the third class compartment, a man beckoned to her to come to the nicer second class compartment. Elizabeth explains to the police that in this pitch darkness, she sat very close to this stranger who'd invited her there. She was struck many times in the head and fell unconscious. She remembered somebody pulling at her feet and swinging her off the train, and she woke up dazed and baffled at the side of the S-Bahn tracks. The Orpo start to compare this uh, to the Gerda Kargol attack a month earlier. What they thought was a drunken incident starts to look more sinister because neither of the victims were sexually assaulted and neither of them were robbed. So why were they attacked? The Orpo come to the conclusion that both cases sound like attempted murder. <laughs> 